Hey, how's it going everybody? Today we're talking about someone who I've spoken about on this channel before. Someone major to the tales of Asgard. Well, not the comic book with that specific title, but with the lore of the Asgardians and of Thor himself. It's looking like I was correct all those months ago, all the way back when we first got some initial casting announcements. Fair warning that major spoilers abound, potentially, from this point on. If you don't want to be spoiled, add this to your watch later queue and come back in, like, I don't know, 2022. Before we start, though, thank you for watching the channel. Whether it's your first time here or you're back for more, don't forget to subscribe because we upload videos exactly like this each and every week. You don't want to miss it. Alright, set photos have been leaked from the set of the Disney Plus series, Loki. You can see them here. And a Twitter scooper with the handle of Discussing Film found an interesting update on IMDb Pro, which is the version of IMDb that can only be updated by verified professionals. On the website, they found a young girl named Kaylee Fleming is cast as Sylvie Lushton. It now reflects on the quote-unquote regular side of IMDb, but it did come from the pro side, meaning somebody verified added that in, not just a random user. As an interesting aside, Kaylee also plays a young Ray Palpatine in flashback scenes in Star Wars, as well as Judith Grimes in Walking Dead, and Susie from another show I liked called Preacher. Anyway, we'll come back around to Sylvie Lushton in a moment. The leaked photos show a girl on the set of Disney Plus talking with somebody in a very similar costume, and the uniforms appear to be those of the TVA, the Time Variance Authority. We talked about the TVA after the Super Bowl spot revealed the TVA logo, on Loki's jumpsuit. We also talked about the Owen Wilson casting and the likelihood that he's playing one of the TVA members, a guy named Justice Peace. Back in November of 2019, we had confirmation that Sofia DiMartino had been cast for the series. Speculation at the time was that she would be playing a female, sort of gender-bent version of Loki. It said that she's a top-billed co-star, meaning she's very important to the story. We can go two ways with this. So Loki is a trickster and a shapeshifter. It's very possible that Sophia is in fact Lady Loki, but not a different character. She's the version of Loki that shifts as he travels and evades Owen Wilson and the Time Variance Authority throughout the series. We have a set photo from this week of her finally on set, which seems to support this theory. As you can see here in what looks to be a Loki-like costume. The catch here, and many people have pointed this out, is her hair. In the photos, her hair is blonde and yet Loki's hair is black. So if he was merely shapeshifting, it would be obvious to those in pursuit, and why would he not change his hair color as well? And that's where Sylvie Lushton comes into the story. Sylvie came to be known as a character called Enchantress. She took on the persona that once belonged to Amora the Enchantress. She took both Amora's look and her superhero name. Amora's sister, by the way, is Lorelai, and we saw Lorelai on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. back in 2014, when she was in contention with Lady Sif, another Asgardian rumored to have a series in production. This new iteration of Enchantress, though, was also at one time affiliated with the Young Avengers, who I've said many times is also getting an updated show on Disney+. Plus. In fact, she was paired with Wiccan and Hulkling for her Young Avengers edition, two kids that will be making their debut in WandaVision on Disney+. Plus. Enchantress is also deeply tied to Thor, and Asgardian lore, and is even associated with the Valkyries, who, yet again, is rumored to have a Disney Plus show on the way. Kevin Feige and Camp love to plant seeds and ideas years before they come to fruition in the MCU, so this would be him operating on that same modus operandi. So with the time traveling that will be going on on Loki, it seems that Kaylee Fleming is going to be playing a young enchantress, which supports the IMDb Pro casting reveal. Well, Sofia DiMartino is going to be playing the more adult version of the same character. And perhaps the recently cast Gugu Mbatha-Ra is actually Amora, who finds out that Loki gave her powers and that she took her name to use, which actually happened in comic books. It's supported by comic book lore. So this would all explain the blonde hair and the green outfit that we see in these leaked set photos. In other photos, it appears that soldiers of the TVA do in fact catch up with Tom Hiddleston as Loki. However, he's not in his Loki outfit. He's in a suit and jacket. And Owen Wilson, of course, we haven't seen him yet either, unfortunately. But, wait a minute. Loki's jacket has a badge on it. it. seems to reveal that he and his female version are helping the TVA track down perhaps Owen Wilson through time, who could possibly be Kang. Now that would be amazing. So we have two theories, but either way, we have the potential for Enchantress and a Lady Loki. I have to say, this is quickly becoming one of my most anticipated upcoming projects on the Marvel MCU Phase 4 slate. 
with Michael Waldron from Rick and Morty writing the script, The Weirdness of Time Travel, Owen Wilson, Gugu and Botha Ra from one of my favorite episodes of Black Mirror, and other stuff like the potential for Sierra that we talked about a couple weeks ago, which could open the door for one of my favorite Asgardians named Angela. This is quickly shaping up to be what sounds like a rather fun romp through the MCU. The show takes place shortly after Loki absconded from custody with the Tesseract in Avengers Endgame. What's curious is that the Tesseract contained the Space Stone, not the Time Stone. Loki's scepter held the Mind Stone. So how is he time traveling? Does he use the Space Stone to travel through space to where the Time Stone currently is in that timeline? I wonder how that will play a part in the series. Loki premieres on Disney Plus in spring of 2021, with Thor 4 coming out in November of the same year. Just as WandaVision was going to be tying to Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, it's likely that Loki will tie to Thor Love and Thunder. In the words of Owen Wilson himself, wow. But now I want to hear your thoughts on the news. Are you excited? Do you want to see the Enchantress or Lady Loki? Let's continue the conversation in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss all of the content we upload each and every week just like this. I'm Jesse, this is JLS Comics, and I'll see you soon.